we feel. It's really special because I'm a non-believer, so I don't really believe in spirituality or one truth, but this is actually a moment where I really felt something spiritual and something truth. The things that you said in your speech to all of us was really the closest I have been to a, a common, a great truth. So, so it is, I'm really grateful to have this experience, like a revolution in my mind. And I hope to bring that to Denmark as well. I think that I would like to leave it off saying that to me in this context, Allah, God, is, if I'm allowed to say, synonymous in this context with truth, beauty, and justice, and the sovereign good. And I think that everybody here, in one way or the other, and I've met pretty much everyone here, I think that everybody here believes that there is something true. You wouldn't be here if you believed that nothing can be true. And that there is something beautiful, one way or the other, again. And that there is something good, because everybody here has good in them and that there is justice. But the only difference between us is how we define respectively justice, truth, beauty, and good. So let me just tell you that wallahi, by Allah, I swear to you, it's all semantics. And if we sit down enough and talk, we will understand one another. Ultimately, everybody will see what is destined for him or her to see. But whatever it is, not only will we see through the veils, we will also love one another, as has happened, and based on that, give each other the respect that we've agreed to give each other, not because anybody's forced anybody, but because we love each other and have become friends, and because ta'arafna, and because we have gotten to know one another. I think as Shaykh al-Buti, may Allah bless him, said, nafi'a, that perhaps a harmful thing can bring out benefit. I think there's a lot of benefit that has come out of this, and I'm very happy to live in this world, in this time, to experience this amazing human possibility of ta'aruf of knowing one another and recognizing the common ground between us. We all have a common denominator. Our numerator is different, that's all, if I can use a mathematical example. May we all in hope, for those who are religious, I say a prayer, and for those who are not, let's just say we hope, we look forward to understanding more deeply what truth is in whatever way. We believe it to be living a life of beauty living a life of justice, living a life of good, and therefore living a life of harmony, and therefore having serenity in our hearts, not living in agitation. May none of us ever be a source of agitation for the other ever again. I thank you very much for listening, and I apologize for taking too long. these three days but of my life uh, it was a very spiritual moment and uh, and I'm not religious I'm not uh, spiritual or oh, I thought I wasn't because this was a spiritual moment that I have never experienced something like that before and that was when I felt humanity that I felt that there is something that unite us all and uh, and that's what I'm going to to use my life to show other people Yeah.